Hi Dirk, uh, welcome to Manila. What do you think of this year's draw? We got a bunch of exciting matchups over here. Uh, it was a great draw. Uh, we had a lot of fun. The, the whole week leading up to it was great. Uh, got to meet a lot of fans uh, here, so it's been it's been a pleasure and humbling to be here. And the draw ceremony was a lot of fun. I think we saw some great groups. I think we're going to see some great competition in in August and September. Um, so we can't wait for the World Cup. Right. Do you see any must-watch matchups over there uh, in the group? I mean, obviously, uh, the U.S. is in a group with Greece. I think that's going to be an unbelievable game. Uh, and, you know, Germany has a good group with Australia and Finland. And, but I think there's just uh, overall going to be uh, great matchups. And the world has gotten so much closer. So many, uh, you know, good competitions. And the level is so good that, you know, any given night, somebody might beat some, some other team. So... It'll be fun to watch. Just a little bit about Germany. It's a tough group with Australia, Japan, and Finland. Of course, it's a little bit of familiarity there. Um, what do you think of, you know, uh, how, seeing, like, for example, Franz Wagner, he had a, a tremendous sophomore season. Uh, seeing those guys, seeing a bunch of those guys, like, leading the way uh, for Germany. What do you think of that? Team? Yeah, it's a tough group. Tough group. You know, Australia is always well, well coached, well, a lot of talent. to play physical, so that's always a tough matchup. Finland is really good with Mark Conan, obviously. They played a great Eurobasket last year, uh, so they're tough to beat. And Japan is at home. You know, they have home court advantage, so uh, it'll be a lot of fun to play in a great atmosphere, and uh, we can't wait to see what happens. But, you know, if you want to make it uh, to semifinals or quarterfinals, you got to make it out of the group. you got to play well. Hopefully everybody for Germany is healthy and this summer and ready to play, and then we'll have a good team. Personally, which players are you looking forward to watching the most here in this World Cup? Well, you know, I saw Luca is also in Japan, yeah. so I'm going to see, uh, when I go to the group to see Germany play, I'm going to see Luca for sure, who is obviously playing for the Mavericks and one of my favorite players, and so I uh, can't wait to see him. And, and, of course, some of the stars, you know, the Jokic and Giannis, and can't wait to see who the U.S. will bring and what team uh, they're going to show up with. That will be, be a lot of fun, so... I'm looking forward to a great World Cup. Yeah. One more question. Yeah. Can you give us your predictions for the podium, the top three? That, that's always hard. I mean, I, I, I predicted something last year for Eurobasket, and I was completely wrong. So I think I'm going to stay away from that. Of course, it kind of depends on the team the USA will bring. I think usually, they, of course, they're the heavy favorites. Uh, we'll, we'll see what kind of uh, team and what kind of talent they can assemble. Uh, and then the rest is, is sort of wide open, you know. Spain just won the Eurobasket last year. Super solid team, but so many good teams. So I think it's, everything is wide open. Fantastic. Thank you so much. For Thank you for having me. Appreciate yeah. it. Yeah.